So hello and welcome and in today's video I'm going to be talking about the BCA Shax Tech Shovel Axe Rescue Sled thingamajig. Sweet, let's get in. So if you're new here, make sure you go down there and hit that subscribe button and also you can follow me down on Instagram, I'll leave a link in the description. So last year I made a video about what I carry in my ski mountaineering bag and one of the items that I spoke about was this, the Shax Tech. I wanted to just offer a little bit more insight into this, this system and why I like it and some things that I don't like about it and other considerations that you need to have if you're going to be adopting this system for your backcountry ski adventures. So first things first, let's talk about this thing as a shovel. Now the handle is pretty good, it's fairly ergonomic. What I would say is that not having an extendable um, shaft makes digging a little bit more difficult, but it, it isn't too bad. It's definitely on the longer side of a, of a shovel handle, so it does work pretty well for extended periods of digging. I've added this little bit of uh, amalgamating tape onto the shaft of the axe. You can pick this stuff up in a DIY shop or places like that and it just adds a little bit of extra grip to the shaft. If you want I'll leave a link down in the description so you can see exactly what that kind of stuff is but basically it's just a rubber tape that's, that sticks to itself. So the blade of the shovel is pretty good, it's a good size, it fits in the bag really well, it's solidly made uh, it's got holes here that you can use to make a rescue sled and also these two slots in here are for making a dead man anchor. I can't say I've ever done that or ever felt the need to do that but it is a nice thing to have and some people might find that useful. So the shaft of the ice axe handle thing fits in here like this and there's a little toggly tab thing that you have to pull up and it slots in and it's pretty solid in there. It's not, yeah, it's definitely not going anywhere. It wouldn't come out accidentally whilst you're digging and cause you a few extra seconds of, of uh, trouble. The ice axe has got a profile to it so you can't put it in the wrong way into the shovel. It just goes in one way and it fits in there and it just works super well. It's a really nice system. What I would say is that this tube here on the shovel is kind of a enclosed um, space. So if you were to accidentally get a load of snow stuck in there and you were to put the ice axe then it may get stuck against that snow and not clip in properly but you know if it's coming out of your bag and going straight onto the shaft then it's going to work pretty well. So how does this thing fare as an ice axe? And what I would say is that I have actually taken this out in kind of summertime when I haven't had the blade at all. It is a really sturdy good ice axe and I'll just show you quickly how to change it from shovel mode into ice axe mode. So what you've got here is a little rubber tab, you just pull that one down and that exposes this kind of little uh, mechanism inside here. You flip that one open like that and you pull it out to the side it's pretty easy like that and there's a little tab that stops it from falling out so uh, that works really well and then you can just pull out the shovel handle like that. You can put in the ice axe head like this, pop that back in there, close that up. It's a little bit fiddly to push the rubber thing over um, but it's not too bad. It does stay there it does stay there when you want it to and there you go, you're ready to do your ice axing kind of stuff. <laughs> the pick itself is stainless steel, it's really good. I've hit this off a few rocks, it's got a few little dings on the, on the front of it there but actually it works really well, it's got good grip, it's the right profile for, for ice axe arrest so it's, it's much better as an alpine tool for you know using as a walking stick rather than using as a technical climbing tool but it still does climb little steps of ice pretty well. The ads is pretty good, you could cut good steps or cut bollards in the ice or whatever you need to do with the ads, it is pretty good. The spike on the bottom is also really good, it works super well and I just feel that it, it just works really nicely in the hand so it is a good ice axe just in itself and the connection between the shaft and the and the pick is is actually pretty solid it's it feels really solid and I've, I've never had it accidentally pop out or you know any of those types of things now what i typically do is i leave the shovel handle kind of set up as a shovel handle and i keep the pick and I only just put the pick in when I need to. So that way the shovel's always ready to go um, in a 
you know, ski touring or ski mountaineering. And I just put the, the, put the pick in, get ready to go for, for climbing up. The, the exception to that might be if I'm, I don't know, walking out of the Agri de Midi uh, in the morning and I need an ice axe in my hand. In a pinch, you could definitely use this um, as the handle for, for the shovel, but it's not ideal. The, the ergonomics aren't that great, so it's definitely worth packing that uh, shovel handle with you. And in terms of losing it, I've, I've lost one ice axe in maybe 15 years of alpine climbing and ski touring and backcountry skiing. And what I would say is at that time when I lost my ice axe, it was way more of a concern that I lost my ice axe than it was that I lost the, you know, what could potentially be the shovel handle. Um, so, you know, you need to be well practiced in handling an ice axe before you adopt this system. And, you know, if you're not sure, then just go with an ice axe and a shovel. It's also marketed as having a rescue sled. So it comes in a little bag here and it has little instructions. I've had a play around with this and there's a few little things that you have to consider if you are thinking that you ever might need this. The first thing is that you need holes in the tip and the tail of your skis. Who is the rescue sled for? If it's for me, then I need holes in my tips and tails. If it's for somebody else or for a client, then they really need to have the holes in their skis because the likelihood that your boots are going to be the same size or that you're going to fit into their bindings or or any of those things is, is quite small. So then you've got to think to yourself, are you going to drill holes in somebody's skis before you go out? One solution might be is to carry a small kind of handheld drill bit that you can drill um, through the tips and the tails of their skis. So generally I really like this piece of kit. I think it fits in really well with a lot of what I do. If I was going out somewhere where it was predominantly um, skiing and I wouldn't need an ice axe, I probably wouldn't bring this. There are better shovels out there. And again, if I'm gonna be doing any real technical climbing, then this ice axe isn't gonna be enough. But there's this kind of middle ground between it being not too technical and you know you needing an ice axe for that tour where something like this is gonna be really useful. But it does cut down those extra few grams for those people who are trying to get that weight down a little bit more in their bags while still having good usable tools that you can you know, bring out in an emergency or, you know, when you're moving along a ridge or up a cool wire or something like that. And what I would say is it often means that I have an ice axe when I wouldn't normally have an ice axe. And it sometimes means that uh, even in the summer I can carry the shovel blade and I have a shovel where I wouldn't normally be carrying a full shovel and an ice axe. So I hope this video goes away to explain kind of why I like this system and how it sort of fits in. Um, and hopefully you've made up your own mind about whether it's going to fit in with your system. Obviously the biggest con is that if you were to lose your ice axe, you're going to be left without a shovel handle. But maybe if that happens, it will only happen to you once and you can just chalk it up as experience. If you like that video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. That's the biggest thing that you can do to help my channel. And also I will see you in the next one. Cheers guys.